Oh, Kaya. Did you drop your bananas? Bananas. Did you drop your bananas? Yes. Hi guys, so it is Saturday morning and we just woke up and yep. <laughs> this is our this is how I started my morning. Uh so if you watch my 50 random things tag, this is my night guard. I know that was really disgusting. Oh there's a piece of lint, hold on. But anyways, I thought I'd do a day in the life because it's been a while and I don't know. I just it's been a while, so I'm gonna clean up these bananas. But um, what we have planned today is that John is working right now, even though it's a Saturday, he's working overtime because he got called out, which kind of stinks because I've been, he's been working overtime like all week and I'm just tired. He's been leaving early in the morning and not coming home till after dinner. And as you guys know, if you have three kids, having your husband home really late and leaving really early is just makes your job all the more harder. So I'm ready for him to be done. Hi working like that and the kids miss him my sweetness can you say hi say hi <laughs> so kaya and white are just finishing up with their breakfast snacks i nursed kaya a little bit ago i'm um, just picking up the house and getting ready for the day do you want to get down plans for today are that um i'm going to try to get some laundry done because it's I don't know, it's time to get laundry done. And then um, we're gonna go to the grocery store, the one that if you follow me on Facebook, you know that I'm in love with. It's our brand new Kroger. Um, it's got fresh sushi, well, sushi, fake sushi, because they, I think, use imitation crab meat. And yeah, um, so we're gonna uh, go there and it's Starbucks has a buy one, get one free, um, like, holiday drink special and as you guys know we're fiscal fasting and I know you guys are probably sick of me saying that we're fiscal fasting but I feel like the more I say it the more it reminds me that we're doing it um Kaya's walking now um she's like legitimately walking because she gets up walks falls down gets up walks falls down and instead of crawling as her first attempt, she walks now as her first attempt. And then if she can't get somewhere fast enough, then she'll crawl. Show us how you walk, bub. Can you show us how you walk? There you go. There you go. Keep going. Show us how you walk. Oh, she's being shy. You being shy? I don't like her walking on the hardwood floor, though, because she always hits her face. So we're going to go to Kroger, and like I was saying, Starbucks has a buy one, get one free holiday drink. And since we're fiscal fasting, um, I think John will let me get a Starbucks, as long as we're getting two for one. So some of you have asked what fiscal fasting means. Um, fiscal fasting means not spending any money on anything. We are not completely fiscal fasting, because obviously we have kids, so we still have to buy like gas and food. Um, but what we are fiscal fasting is that we're not buying any material objects like, you know, we're not buying anything but gas and food. And food-wise, we're sticking to a strict um, budgeted meal plan. So like last week, um, I cooked every single night and we only spent $100, $120 on last week's groceries. So um, I'm pretty proud of us because for five people, that's pretty impressive. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I don't know, it's going to it's gonna be a boring day unless we, yeah. Um, I would go grocery shopping right now since it's morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's like the best time to grocery shop on a Saturday is like early in the morning because nobody's there and everything's fresh. But John really wants to go because since the new Kroger opened, it's like a, it's like a family event that we go together because we're so sad. We're sad, sad people. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. It's just been a busy, hectic week. I have to pick up some prescriptions. That's not going to be very exciting, but I have to pick up some prescriptions uh, because I need to... Yeah, I'm starting my cycle again next week, as you guys know. So, well, not as you guys know. Why would you know that? That's creepy. But, yeah, the 19th. So, I have to refill my painkillers and also um, my Depo Prevair, which my mom's going to shoot me in the butt with. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you guys? So, for some of you who have, like, Ava-aged daughters, um, we're really, when I was growing up, I was really into comic books. As you guys know, I like X-Men and, like, just... I was obsessed with them. My brother, I think, introduced them to me, so like he, he's huge into comic books still. Um, I'm not so much anymore. I think I grew out of, I didn't grow out of it, but I stopped, you know, doing it as much with him It's when I was like junior high. Um, but 
he introduced this comic book to my daughter because my daughter's getting into comic books, which I'm so excited about because she's reading and, you know, thinks it's fun. And it's called um, Princess, Princeless. And they're really cute. This is volume two. Ava already read volume one. Jesse, um, he comes into town every Friday. They live, they live further away from us now. They moved and it makes me sad because my niece was born this past year. But he comes in every Friday for school and he brings his daughter and I uh, babysit on um, Friday. So he's been bringing new comic books for Ava. So she finished um, the book one and now she's on book two. And basically it, they're comic books about uh, princesses who like I guess rescue themselves or something. Like they, it's called Prince Less. So basically, it's like a female empowering type of comic book. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have, you know, seven or eight, nine, ten year old, eleven, twelve, whatever. My brother actually reads them, so and he's thirty something. But I don't know if you, ha you know, this is if you guys are interested. I she's really been enjoying reading them, and I think it's a great message that they're spreading that you don't need a man in your life. Um, but not that I hate men or anything. But it's called Princeless, so there you go. So our bedroom is a mess right now because I don't make the bed, I forget. And then John's area looks like a mess. And then there's just junk everywhere. Like, I feel like my room is like the room where just like everything comes to die. <laughs> it's not the laundry room anymore downstairs because I cleaned that for my crafting area. It's my bedroom where everything comes to die. So I'm going to collect laundry from everybody's rooms around the house. Because why would people actually put laundry down the laundry chute like they're supposed to? So look, this is what I did with Kaya's um, birthday little tool. What do you call them? Her tool thingies that I had hanging as a centerpiece for her birthday. I hung them up there above her mobile. Which Kendra, she loves this thing. I had to, I had to raise it because she was playing with it. And apparently, she still got to it. She's getting taller than I think. Um, so I just hung them above her crib in the corner, and I thought that was kind of cute. That way, I don't waste them. <sighs> Ouch! Look, I cleaned the carpets, guys. Well, I spot cleaned them. Is my warmer burning. I love the smell of the autumn sunset. That's what's burning right now. Oh, I need to repaint this door. Don't have toddlers. That's what they do. That's what they do to the doors. And then here's our nicely organized, finally, laundry room slash craft room slash John's computer stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm going to start laundry, and then after I'm done with laundry, I'm going to get ready for the day, which I don't think I'm taking a shower. So I am going to rock the second hair, even though, second day hair, even though I don't understand how people with second, like, I don't understand. Like, I know people who prefer second day hair, and I just don't get it, because my second day hair always looks terrible and greasy. Like, I don't really, like, look, look, I think there's hairspray left over. Ow! <laughs> From, ow! I don't like it. Ow! I don't know. There's probably a proper way to do this, right, without damaging your hair. You beauty gurus would know. I don't, ow! I don't know. Yeah, they could stop. I just want it out. Okay, so I don't know how people like second day hair because my second day hair is greasy and it feels gross and it's just ugh. But I'm probably just gonna wear a hat today because we're not doing anything or going anywhere special. Not like yesterday was something that I, I don't know. I didn't go and do anything yesterday. I just made videos. So, anyways, I'm gonna do laundry because that's the exciting life of me. And then um, I'll check back in with you. Well, I have gotten. A load and a half of laundry done. Kaya is upstairs sleeping, so I'm gonna be very quiet because I need her to sleep because I'm gonna about paint my nails. Wyatt is resting as well, so I am catching up on some of my TV shows on Hulu and I'm gonna paint my nails. This is what I do. I come downstairs into this room because I like this room. It's like my cozy room. It's got the comfy couch. As you guys know, like I, I film all of my videos in this room because it's got the best lighting because of the big window. Um, downstairs has decent lighting too, but usually the kids are down there playing or John's down there with the kids, so I just come up here. But anyways, that was unnecessary. Um, so I'm going to paint my nails. This is my little kit that I bring down every single time I paint my nails. I keep this Ziploc bag next to my nail polish collection, so that way when I like move about the house, I can put everything that I need in it so I don't have, like drop stuff. So I have my Sechvit base coat, my top coat. Um, I'm going to paint my nails in this Wicked Essie color. It's my favorite. I, I got this, um, I think two years ago. I got last winter or winter before that. I don't remember. 
but it's a super super pretty fall winter color and i love it so i'm gonna paint my nails if you guys didn't know um which of course you probably do i did not think of this i did not invent this um or anything but i know that like a lot of my friends come over and they'll paint their nails and they're surprised that i use makeup remover wipes as my nail polish wipes they work about a thousand times better than like Kleenexes or towels at, and cotton balls at removing nail polish because it, they're more absorbent, they're tougher and all that. So if you didn't know, makeup remover pads work wonders at removing your nail polish. So I'm going to paint my nails, catch up on some of my TV, and then hopefully Kaya will not wake up because that's the worst when she wakes up when I'm like wet nailed. So yes, and then John should be wet nailed. That sounded so bad. Good thing the kids aren't awake. John's gonna be home in a little bit and then we are gonna go grocery shopping. Okay, so I painted my nails and it took a little bit longer than I thought because I kept um, messing up my middle fingers for some reason, which you can kind of tell because there's like paint kind of in the crevice of my, like it's on my cuticles. I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably just being too picky. But anyways, so um, Kai is still sleeping. It's like 12. 10, John got home from work. Um, so we are, the Wyatt's ready. I'm gonna, he's in, John's gonna take a shower. I don't know why I'm so frazzled right now. John's gonna take a shower. I'm gonna do our grocery list and then we're gonna wake up Ava or Kaya. Ugh, I keep doing that. Ava's at her dad's. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the grocery store and I don't know, we might, I don't know what else we're gonna do. I just need to get out of the house because I have literally been in the house all week long. Like I think the only times that I've left was Monday for my court date, which I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, not what happened, but just kind of what's going on without any detail, if that makes sense. Um, but I left Monday, I was out of the house Monday for my court date in the morning, and then I haven't really left the house other than to pick up Ava since then. So I am like itching to get out of the house. Um, so we're gonna go grocery shopping, and then I don't know what else we're gonna do, but I'm excited because officially now our weekend starts since John is home and doesn't have to leave again for work until Monday. So I'm gonna do the grocery list. We are... Our just our refrigerator looks like a mess. We go through so much milk too lately, so we're gonna have to get like three half gallons of milk or a gallon and a half of milk because I'm tired of having to run to the store. And I'm gonna do some meal planning because this past week, like I said, like I was managed to go shopping on Monday evening, I think, and then we had crockpot meals all week long. It was amazing. So hopefully we can make out like that again. Okay, so here's my grocery list. I don't know why. I know it's my grocery list, but for some reason it's like I have to label it grocery list. <laughs> and there's my chicken scratch. And I actually, like I have an iPhone and I have an iPad. And I usually use my iPhone and my iPad to search for like Pinterest recipes. But for some reason, like I know that there's all these apps where you can like list your grocery list on your phone or your iPad, but there's something about a pen and paper that's just easier for me to use and like, faster and more like I don't know I just I like physically having a pen and paper so there's my chicken scratch um I also put stuff in order of where I can find them in the store so that way I'm in order when I go to the store I'm kind of lame okay so we are finally like, leaving the house an hour and a half later than we planned because that's how it is with two children that's how we roll, that's how we roll. we're on let's see it was BWT BWT which was baby Wyatt time when Wyatt was baby, so now I guess it's BKT, baby Kaya time. That's what we call it. Whenever we relate to anything, we said, we're on BWT, baby Wyatt time. We're on our way to my parents' house. Um, I'm gonna drop off. I made a tastefully simple spinach and herb dip for my mom to take to her little game night with her lady friends. And then I had some leftover tomato tortellini soup that I'm gonna bring for them so that they can nuke it and have it for lunch because they were raking all today. And then we are gonna go to the grocery store, get our groceries, then go to the pharmacy, pick up my Depo Prevera shot and my Percocet. Um, and then I'm gonna stop back at my parents' house and then my mom will hopefully shoot me in the butt with the Depo Prevera shot so that way I don't have to go to the office oh, to get it done. It. Yes, you can film that if you'd like. So, and um, I get to do the next shot. Right? No, John, you don't get to do the next shot. When do I get to do that? Never. For some reason, John's got like this fascination with shooting me in the butt with and a with a needle. <laughs> Careful. We should be specific <laughs> with a needle in the butt because I don't know why. I've actually, there's been two times now where I've had to use needles on my own. Um, that made me sound like a drug person. No, um, <laughs> when I was in home care yeah, or home nursing <laughs> care with Wyatt, I was really nauseous with him. So we had a nurse come because I got dehydrated and stuff. And a nurse came to our house and put a IV in 
but I also had to be on Zofran, so I had to poke myself with a new catheter in my thigh every twice a day, and John always wanted to do it, but I wouldn't let him do it. And then I had to take the IV out of my wrist on my own, and John wanted to do that too, but I wouldn't let him. So he's, he's been chopping at the bit to, for some reason, like poke like me with a needle years. for three years now, and yeah, maybe you can shoot me with my next step of primary shot in three months. That's what I just said. I can do the next one. Yeah. Or two months. I think I'm it's two hole. months. That's, yes. I'm in the hole. Anyways, I just realized, I don't even know what you guys can see. I'm trying to avoid showing street signs and stuff, so sorry. Um, but, so yeah, that's our plans. My parents are raking. This is the torture that I had to do when I was a child and lived here, but no more. Now I have a husband who does it for me at my house. Okay, so see, here he is in fake form. And then he's over here. There he is. Do you see him? Do you see his little head creeping out? There's the kitties. So apparently, if you get a book, like buy a book and they get the signing, you also get this like free cake or something. Yeah. There's our favorite sushi area. He's over there. Do you eat lobster, Wyatt? Yeah, we eat lobster and then they have they have spikes. They have spikes. There's 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 a little bit skinny. They're sleepy. Yeah, but those ones are sleepy. That one was sleepy. Those. Are Okay, we'll say bye lobsters. Okay. So we are done at the grocery store uh -huh. and it took let's see, when did we get to the grocery store? Uh, I don't know. What we got to the store We got to the store probably around like 1 45, 2 o'clock, and it is now 320. Oh these people in front of us are making out. Why Blah. are they making out? I don't know. Make them stop. Oh, I'm about to record that. Oh, make them stop. So I picked up my prescriptions and this is the injectable. Every 10 weeks is what I'm supposed to do it at. This is the Depo-Provera that's supposed to help my cycle and my endometriosis. So, or sorry, stop my cycle. So we are driving to my mom's house because she's gonna inject it in me and John's upset. <laughs> and then we will go home after that. Mm, I wanted to record you. No, did you do it in my butt? Yeah. No. That's the most meaty spot, so she can't mess up. If she, it. Yes, it is. That's what the nurse told me. The reason because it's the muscle. It's supposed to go in the muscle. The reason you want it in the deepest muscle is you're least likely to have breakthrough bleeding. Okay. Other so types of stuff. The other part is that it's easier not to make a mistake and shoot it in the wrong place. Well, but you're, are you? Well, how do I thing, start recording? Well, just a second. Let's get a band aid and let's get a white butt one. I thought this woman knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe we should go to a doctor. <laughs> you do do this for a living, don't you? We're, we're, can you drop my band-aid? <laughs> Maybe you have a Captain Kangaroo band-aid. So if you guys need dinner this week, this is our plan. Oh <laughs> These are plans for dinner. I have a pot roast that I might do tomorrow. I'm not sure which day. Pot roast, chicken and rice burritos, that soup stuff for Thursday, and then also a veggie, a sausage and veggie cheese casserole. This is what my shot okay, looks like. Now, um, do you want to lie on your side and open my, on my table and I'll hit you? No. Or do you want to bend over and have me hit you? <laughs> I just drop your pants. Just do it. <laughs> Okay. You really need me to undo my pants? No, well, no, just let me get. Ow! Mom! <laughs> what part? How much, are your, how much of my butt do you need? That's all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? That is not my butt! That's just, where I'm gonna put it. Well, that's not, not my for, butt. It is a butt. It's your hip. Huh? Oh my gosh, that's not my butt. What I you do? And the on hip, Her hips were off. She has Video. all that pain. Shoot it somewhere where there's no pain. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna work. I don't. 
I made the appreciation of this experience. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be a stick. So you're going to hit her in the bone. Great. I hate these. Oh, God. Oh, my. Do you do this for a little? I mean, Does I don't she, understand. Oh, this here. Here. Ah. oh, my God, it's in. <laughs> <laughs> am I bleeding? I don't know. I'm yeah. a bit of a bleeder. You're like a stuck pig. I am a stuck pig. <laughs> Less meaty. I don't see any blood. No blood. Do we even need a band-aid? No. Pull one just in That's case. A, I don't want to remove my pants. Quiet. So then she knows where she got. You're that's not even where it went in at. I know. That's. I don't feel. I feel it over here. No, that's. <laughs> no, no. It was right place. here. No, it was right here within a finger width of the of her oh, hip bone, right there. Oh, oh wow! I'm having spasms in my side. Is that bad? What's that look on your face? Like you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you would have spasms. I would. Yeah, you yeah. would. Oh. Now you're gonna complain the next of the week. Oh yeah, I will. Anyways. Alright. Adventures at Grandma's. Yeah. Very deep, very deep spot. Right? Yeah. I'm just used to. Shelly did it like lower in my butt, but. Okay, so how do you feel? Okay, some people do it in the upper outer quadrant of the cheek. Like it's they, supposed they to reduce your the libido. Butt. I tend to usually. How's just... your libido? <laughs> it's always low, so it's the same. <laughs> Alright, anyways. That's not recording. So I get to do this every 10 weeks? So well. It's... You can do it every 10 weeks, but you might, if, if you want to back off. Holy cow, did you stick that whole needle in? Yep. Like the, yeah. the whole depth? All the way down. It's pretty big. That's a huge needle. It didn't feel that long. Look how long the needle is. Mm-hmm. That's a oh, long Oh, yeah, we got needle. it on camera. <laughs> that scares me. How long is the needle going to be on Wednesday in my back? You don't want Twice to know. as long. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't even I like don't even, see the needle. I don't like the needle he stuck in my knee on this. this. You say hi, Wyatt. Hi. We're tired. It's only like six something in the evening. <gasps> Look at that little girl. Look at she's walking. She's walking. She's walking. Oh! Isn't that skirt the cutest? It's from Megan and Ruby. It's a hand me down from Budapest for mommy abroad. You gonna walk again? A little pink cloth diaper peeking through her leggings. Oh, look at her go. Yeah, we'll find some. There she goes. Oh, uh oh. Can you say bath? Good girl. Good girl. Kai, get that finger out of that nose. Get that finger out of that nose. Get that finger out of that nose. Ickies. That's not ladylike. 